on the technical level, finally to wrap up, I, I think one thing we've seen since our last conversation is an increasing recognition that the shortest path to making large language models that are less full of crap and better grounded in reality will be to hybridize a large language model with a knowledge graph in in in, in some form. And, you know, GPT-4 was hybridized with Wolfram Alpha. They're gluing it together with Microsoft Knowledge Graph. But there's all sorts of startups that are doing this in, in various different ways, right? And I, th I think this is interesting to me because I've been pushing neural symbolic methods where you put a neural net together with a symbolic reasoning engine as a fantastic path to AGI for a long time. Not because it's the only way to get to AGI. I mean, the brain doesn't have a logic engine at the base level, but because I think it's a way to get to AGI that's well suited to the computers we have today, which have logic operations wired into the chips. And also, I think it's a good way to make an AI system that's more rational, reasonable, and sensible than 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 people are. Like we we might be less fucked up if we did have a logic engine at the at the base level, along with the neural net wiring that we that 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 we have, right? And so, what's interesting though, by hybridizing a knowledge graph with a neural net in a simple way, you're doing something. But if you really want to kick ass in that way, what what you what you need what you need to do is you need to take that knowledge graph and you need to put logical reasoning on top of it and big tech is not very well instrumented for that they just haven't been working on that and we have been working on that in the OpenCog project, and we've been working on that in Singularity Net, which has done a bunch of work on the OpenCog open source AI project. So we're we're actually much better prepared to take a large language model, put it together with a knowledge graph, and then do sophisticated logical reasoning on that knowledge graph, and do have that logical reasoning sort of coordinate with what happens in the in the in the LLM. We're way better prepared to do that than Google or or Microsoft or, or Facebook, just because we've been pushing on the logic side and how you connect that with neural nets for a long time. And they, they've been, they've been ignoring that. Right. And that underlies a few different things in singular net ecosystem. So you mentioned the Zarka project. So Zarka is a for-profit spinoff of singularity net, which is aimed at the LLM side. Right. So make, make a large language model, I mean, much much like Stability and Anthropic and then these other op op open source oriented LLM companies are doing, but use some of OpenCog to connect it with a with a knowledge graph, right? And use some OpenCog reasoning in that in that connection, and and then roll out something that's like Chat GPT, but but multiple times as as clever by using neural symbolic AI for smarter thinking and also running on singularity net, new net hypercycle decentralized backend. Right. And then there's another singularity net spinoff called true AGI, which is looking at bring this sort of technology to the enterprise. And there each enterprise will have its own knowledge base. It has its own knowledge graph, right? So you're looking at like, take the knowledge graph representing what's happening inside a company, do open code reasoning on there, connect that with, with the LLMs, including a general purpose LLM and an LLM fine tuned on the text from that company and use that to provide AGI as, as a service APIs running partly on premise, but partly also on, on our decentralized cloud, right? And the, the general idea here is like, we can get the world to use decentralized AI networks with no central owner or, or controller. We have a pretty clear path to doing that over the next couple of years. And the path, it's a little bit tricky one, but not that tricky. The path is we provide a better product. Like we make an AI that's multiple times smarter than chat GPT or than GPT five, because we know how to do neural symbolic better than, than anyone else. So everyone wants to use it in retail with Zarka or an enterprise with true AGI. Everyone wants to use it because it's good. Lo and behold, it happens to run on this decentralized back, back end. And just like people will use 
stable diffusion because it's good. They don't mind that it's open source. They're not necessarily using it because it's open source. Similarly, they will use Zarka and True AGI stuff because it's the best, not because it's running on decentralized infrastructure in most cases, unless folks are decentralization zealots like, like you and me. But people don't mind if it's running on a decentralized backend as as as, as long as it, it works, right? And having done this then, having this neural symbolic thing there, then we're prepared to solve the next problem, which is fundamental creativity and, and invention. Because in, until you can use logic to filter out what's bullshit and what's not, then you can't let your freak flag fly and just like invent wild new things. Because to invent wild new things without a filter, you'll just do insanity. You won't do meaningful creation, right? So when, once you have the logic to ground a system's productions in reality, you can then integrate evolutionary AI, concept blending, other cool AI methods to boost up the inventive capability of large language models and, and other AI systems using the grounding and logic to filter out what's what's good in a certain context and what isn't. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you wanna profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it, listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto. Learning DeFi, gotta do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. I feel far more confident in my next steps. We took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done, and I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. It's got to be like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you got to pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not going to regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, 
and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.